What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance. Um, I've been seeing a lot of you guys on Facebook and YouTube and shit, you know, talking shit about the post that I posted up earlier about Reborn Records. Uh, first off, I just want to say and make things very clear that Bloodshot Records is not making any money. What Bloodshot, what we do on Bloodshot Records is we don't ask artists for money. We don't make money off of artists. What we do is we help artists become successful independent artists. We help them out in any way that we can by, you know, sending them beats, recording with them, uh, promoting them. We do everything we can to help them to become successful independent artists. That's what we do. And second, I see you motherfuckers sitting there talking shit on my Facebook about how I'm sitting there playing this pity party game, but the truth is, it's not a pity party. It's the fucking truth. I'm not playing a pity party game here. I'm really not. See, what you guys don't understand is that record labels, ever since I started in music, everyone from major record labels, indie labels, artists, and people in general like to pick on me, discriminate against me, and bash on me because of my physical appearance. They think that just because I look different than the norm, that I deserve to be treated like I'm shit. That I deserve to be taken advantage of. That I deserve to be bullied and brought down. So I will quit. But guess what? I'm not quitting. I never have. And see what you motherfuckers don't realize. Is that it ain't about how you do your music. It's about what you do with your music. It's about how it gets done. It's not about what you do. It's about how the end result of your music turns out. It's about the message behind your music. It's about what you do. It's not about how you do it. Like when I work with an artist, I don't sit there and ask them how they make their beats. I don't sit there and be like, oh, you know, how did you do this? How did you do that? No, I don't do that. I sit down, I record with them, and I go to work and I get shit done. That's what I do. Just like with my own shit. You know, a lot of people ask me, you know, how did I do this? How did I do that? That's none of your fucking business. What is your business is listening to that fucking song and checking it out. That's your business. Because unless you're one of the people that I work with every day, like my brother Eric Scrubbelo, or my little brother Ian, or Young Fox, or Elucidus, or Smiley J, or B-Man. You know, unless you're one of them. Or unless you're my brother possessed one. That's none of your business how I make my music. What is your business is the end result of how it came out. See, what you guys don't realize is that because of my physical appearance, I have to work twice as hard. I have to bust my ass twice as hard every day just to get a fraction of where y'all get to. See, you guys can, you know, make a rap or a rap beat or whatever, and you guys automatically get out there. But no, not me. I have to work twice as hard because of my physical appearance. Because nobody wants to work with me because of my physical appearance. Nobody wants to give me a chance because of my physical appearance. Because all they see, when they see, when people see me in the music industry, all they see is a special needs guy that doesn't deserve a chance that they can go off and easily take advantage of. They see a special needs guy that they can discriminate against and pick on and bash on a bully. To the point to where I get pissed off and I start making diss tracks on these motherfuckers to shut them up. That's how it's always been for me. And see, what you guys don't understand is while you guys, you artists out there and you record labels out there, while you guys are asleep in your bed at night and you guys are passed out, I'm up at night busting my ass, 
writing, recording, tearing down tracks and rebuilding them, tearing down songs and rewriting them and re-recording them, and working on cover art, working on, you know, song ideas and all this shit while you guys are asleep. While you guys are asleep, while you guys get, you know, 60 to 70 hours a week of sleep, I get maybe four to five a week because I bust my ass. I go on maybe one to two hours of sleep a night and a two or three cups of coffee because I put in that much hard work. While you guys have to put in a little bit of effort, I have to put in twice that effort. I have to put in more effort than any of you motherfuckers out there. And that's what y'all don't realize is that when I say that I am being discriminated against, it's the truth. Record labels want nothing to do with me because of how I look. And no artist is willing to give me a chance because they think I'm fake as fuck when I'm not. Because like I said, it shouldn't matter how I do my music as long as it gets done. How you do your music shouldn't matter. It should be about the end result and the product. That's what should matter. That's what real music should be about. It shouldn't be about how you look or how you do it. That shouldn't be it at all. It should be about what the end result is and what your message is behind your music. That should be what matters. So y'all want to sit there and point fingers and blame somebody? Blame yourselves and blame the motherfuckers that discriminate against me. They're the ones to blame. You guys that sit there and judge me and talk shit on my fucking stuff. You're the ones to blame. You and those fucking record labels that like to bash on me and tear me down. And say I'm in the wrong when I'm not. You guys are to blame. Every single one of you that likes to take advantage of me and rip on me for no fucking reason. Just because I look different than you. You guys are the ones to blame. And what you guys don't realize is we're all human at the end of the day. We all bleed red, motherfuckers. Just because I look different doesn't mean I am different. I'm the same as you. I bleed red just like you. I go through shit just like you. I laugh, I smile, I cry just like you. I bust my ass just like you. So how dare you sit there and say that I don't deserve a chance? And how dare you sit there and judge me? It's not your place to judge anyone. And quite honestly, I am sick to death and tired of being discriminated against by every single one of you. I'm sick to death and tired of getting told that I'll never make it because of my physical appearance. I'm getting sick to death and tired of people taking advantage of me just because they think that they can, just because I look like I'm a special needs person. And yeah, in high school, I was. I was a special needs kid in high school, but then I learned how to cope with all that, and I became the person that I am today, which is a hard worker. See, while you guys have shit handed to you, I have to work my ass off twice as hard as any of you out there just to get to where you guys are at, just to do what I do. I have to work twice as hard. While you guys sit in there and put in three, four hours of work a day on your music, which is a good amount. I sit down and I put in 10 to 12 because I have to work that hard just to get a fraction of a, word, of a ways to where you guys are at. So you think I'm being unfair by calling out people like Reborn Records? You think I'm being unfair by doing that? No. I'm not being unfair. I'm defending my work and myself as a human being, as a person, as an artist. I am defending myself. The people that are really being unfair 
are you guys that are judging me and discriminating against me saying that I'm in the wrong? The ones that are wrong are you record labels that want to sit there and bash on me and torment me and judge me and discriminate against me. I'm sick of being discriminated against and judged because of my physical appearance. That's why nobody wants to work with me is because of my physical appearance. Even though I get told every day that my music is fucking amazing by a lot of supporters. I get told that daily. And yet, what do I get in return for all that respect and that love and that support for my music? I get shit on, taken advantage of, and discriminated against by every single one of you motherfuckers that think they're in the right. So like I said, before you fucking judge me, get to know my situation first and understand that I'm working with what I have at my disposal. It is not my fault that I don't have a regular computer. That's why I do my music so I can start making money so that I can buy a computer and do it even better than what I'm doing now. That's what you guys don't understand. I don't have money. I'm not rich. I don't have anything. Yeah, I might have an Xbox One and shit like that, but those were gifts. Those were Christmas gifts from my family. I didn't buy any of that. Those were gifts to me. Those were gifted to me by family for my birthday, for Christmas, stuff like that. That's all those were. They were gifts to me. I have no money. I have nothing. And I can't work a regular job. Because I went to jail back in 2012. And because of me going to jail back then, no place around here wants anything to do with me. And it wasn't because of the severity of my crime. It's that a lot of these places that want you know, people to work for them, they don't want somebody with a record at all. They want everybody to not have a record. That's how it works around here in Akron, Ohio. It's harder to get a job with a record than it is without one. That's just pure facts. And do I regret what I did? Of course I do. But I can't change the fact that no place wants to give me a job so I can make money. I can't change that. So I have to make do with what I have. I have to make do with the shit that I am good at. I have to bust my ass at what I'm good at just to even get even a couple cents out of my music. So like I said, before you guys go and judge me like you do, before you go saying that I'm in the wrong, Take a look at what I deal with every fucking day. And take a look at my situation. So instead of judging me, start understanding that I'm only making use of what I have at my disposal. I'm making the best of what I have at my disposal right now. And that I have no choice but to make use of that. And you think what you're doing to me is fair? You think what you guys sitting there saying that I'm in the wrong is fair? No, it's not fair. Because by you judging me like that and saying that I'm in the wrong, that makes you just as bad as those fucking record labels that discriminate against me. That makes you just as bad as they are. So like I said, you want to sit there and fucking judge me? And judge how I do shit? Fine. But know this, at the end of the day, it's not about how I do my music, it's about the end result. It's about the fact that I bust more ass than any motherfucker on the face of this earth. To get a fraction to where you guys are at. Because like I said, I get maybe one to two hours of sleep a night. Because I run on one to two hours of sleep and three to four cups of coffee 
putting in hard ass work day in and day out. Yeah, you guys might not see what I do. But at the end of the day, I do work harder than any motherfucker out there. I work twice as hard as any artist out there because I have to. Not because I want to, but because I have to. I have no choice. Because of my physical appearance and how I look, that's why. So you want somebody to blame? Blame yourselves. Blame those record labels that discriminate against me every day. Because at the end of the day, I'm not the one at fault. The ones at fault are those that judge me and discriminate against me. You're the ones at fault, not me.